ดีค่ะท่านชิซูเรียค่ะยินดีต้อนรับสู่วิดีโอที่นี่ค่ะ Hello, my name is Sylvia, and welcome to this video. Today, we're going to visit the Golden Triangle between Thailand, Laos, and Myanmar. วันนี้เราจะไปที่ Golden Triangle ระหว่างประเทศไทยประเทศลาวกับประเทศฝรั่ง Good morning, everyone. So today we're going to visit the Golden Triangle. It's basically a triangle between three countries: Myanmar, Laos, and Thailand. And before that, we're also going to visit the Karen women. The Karen women, Karen is a tribe, and they actually come from Myanmar, but now a lot of them live in Thailand as refugees. I'm going to tell you the story a little bit later. Um, but yes, we're going to visit them, and then we're going to go to the tri golden triangle. So let's go. And before we go, I would like to show you my today's outfit. So basically, I got this dress two days ago in Chiang Mai, and it is of the Mio and Yao people. They are some kind of ethnic minorities in Thailand, in the north of Thailand. So some kind of a hill tribe people. And um, yes, I really loved it. So right now we are on the way to see the hill tribe people, the Karen, long neck Karen woman. So basically, this is the village of the Long Neck Karen women, and um, you should know that they originally come from Burma. They live in Thailand now, and they are a special kind of Karen. And um, I mean, if you follow me for a while, you already know that I lived in Myanmar before. So there are eight main ethnicities in Myanmar. I think I talked about it in another video, and one of them is Karen. So, but these are not these are special Karen. It's a different type of Karen, but they are also Karen. So yes, and they are very known for these um, things that they have that makes like the, the neck long that's why long neck ran and then um, yes so basically right now they live in um, thailand they are here as refugees and they live from tourism so basically this is for the neck this is so heavy so heavy so where you go So something that was also very important for me because I wasn't sure if I wanted to vi uh, visit them or not because I didn't want to make this like a zoo, you know, like a human zoo, like, oh, look how they look or something. I don't like these kind of things, not for animals and especially not for humans. Um, I mean, not for animals and humans alike, actually. Um, so this was very important for me. But then I talked to some friends and they told me that like they live from tourism, like part of the entrance fee that you pay to come here goes to them. And also if you buy some souvenirs, it's their own income. So basically this was something where I said, okay, I want to come here and I want to support them and I want to buy souvenirs. That's why I came. But this is not like, a, like I don't want this to be like a human zoo, like, oh, look, look, or something like this, you know? Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. Okay, everyone, so we just um, came back from the visit and um, it was interesting. I don't know exactly what to think about it. So um, what, what, I, what I found nice was that they were selling souvenirs. So I got myself this and this. And I know that the money is for them. So, you know, I know that this is what, you know, they live from tourism, they live from selling the souvenirs. So that's why this was something nice. But I'm not sure how much of this was like real or show just for tourism. And um, yeah, I, I don't know exactly. For example, the entrance fee, uh, if they really get the money and I don't know, but it was interesting. So 
so now we have arrived at the Golden Triangle between Thailand, Laos and Myanmar. So you can see the Mekong over here, which is actually the biggest river in Southeast Asia and the eighth biggest river in the world. And um, on the other side, I'll show you right now, we can see Laos and over there we can see Myanmar. And for me, it's really a special moment because first of all, I wanted to visit Laos in 2020 and I couldn't. So, well, this is as far as I've gotten to Laos so far. And um, yeah, Myanmar was my home for an entire semester also in 2019-20 before COVID and um, I really want to go back. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully one day. Right now, no, but in the future. So yeah, so being close to Myanmar again, it's, um, it's a really special moment for me. So over there, we can see Laos. Wow, this is so crazy. And this is the Mekong. So right now we are in Thailand, this is Laos, and over there at the end, somewhere there, is Myanmar. And there is one more thing that I wanted to mention um, about the Golden Triangle, because of the name, the Golden Triangle. The name comes actually from, um, like, in the 20th century, this place between Laos, Myanmar and Thailand was the hub for opium trade, you know, like the opium was produced here and um, was sold here and um, yeah obviously like selling drugs makes a lot of money so that's why it was called the golden triangle and um, i'm not sure how the situation is today i think it's much better obviously because things have been regulated by the governments but yeah that's where the name the name comes from So this is Thailand, there we have Laos, and there we have Myanmar. On this side, we have Myanmar. And on this side, we have Laos. Laos. There you can see the Laos flag on the boat. And this is Thailand. And this is Thailand. And this is the entrance in Thailand.
we're heading home right now. We had an amazing day. I really loved it. At the Karen woman, it was really interesting. I don't know exactly what to think about it, but still it was interesting. But the Golden Triangle, I loved it. And the Mekong River, you know, and I just like these kind of places. I was on a, a triangle of countries before in Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay in 2014. And I just love these places. So it was really amazing. I hope that you liked it too. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. Kapkun ka, sawati ka. Bye.